Sully is a comedic JRPG that um, that focuses on character-driven uh, storylines instead of breaking the fourth wall. Um, not that there's anything wrong with fourth wall breaking humor, but I think that you know uh, a lot of the other uh, comedic games just they do it a lot, and I want to stand out. So I've I've gone more with a Avenger Brothers style universe where it's you know an, an RPG world, but everyone plays it straight. There's no like mugging at the character about how weird this is. They're just they're just doing it. You know. Um, Darren, the uh, the male lead, uh, he just wants to be uh, uh, someone that raids tombs, and he thinks that that's uh, that's a fine lifestyle. But in reality, he's kind of a rich kid that's a tourist. Uh, I spent too long trying to come come up with a good name. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I didn't think I could uh, go in any interesting directions because, like, you know, um, uh, the Barkley guys have the have the sure. ridiculous title thing going on, and uh, and Breath of Death Seven, the mm-hmm. beginning, you know, like so. Like, going over the top that way seemed wrong. Um, I definitely want to get, get across that it was an RPG, uh, but when it came down to it, we always called it Sully because this is a remake, uh, a reimagining of a 17-year-old game, uh, the, ga- uh, the game of the engine that got me into uh, game making back in 97 mm-hmm. and, uh, and being a programmer in general. Mm-hmm. It changed my life, and uh, when I decided I wanted to make a JRPG, which you shouldn't make this decision lightly. Um, <laughs> When when I made that uh, the decision to make a JRPG, uh, uh, I realized I wanted to like come full circle and have some closure. I I had tried uh, before the indie scene really took off uh, about two thousand three two thousand four. I had tried to make uh, indie games. We didn't call them indie games then. It was right. self published. Right. Um, and uh, and I went broke doing it because I wanted to make very realistic uh, small games. You know, four X's and and tactical RPGs. And in fact. Uh, <laughs> So that did not work out. <laughs> um, and uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore was our uh, our third title, to to show how naive we were at the time. Like we were running out of money. You know, we were just kids out of school. And um, and Nicholas proposed, uh, oh, let's do a roguelike. It'll only take six months. They'll pay the bills, so we can make these four X's. You know. And that turns into whatever it turns into, right? Well, yeah, so. you, you experience. Right. right. Experience was gained. Uh, lessons were learned. Uh, so Sully is. Um, well, game development, as you might know, is uh, is kind of a game of uh, moving deadlines, mm-hmm. um, and uh, and sometimes you cut things back. Uh, and right now, we are content complete for uh, for art and map assets, and uh, nearly complete with music. Um, about halfway through the scripting, mm-hmm. uh, but that is uh, taking into account that uh, I have like had to scale back uh, the desire for uh, a lot of really. Uh, Really gorgeous, uh, hand done, mm-hmm. uh, full frame animation. Uh, we're talking like Valkyrie profile style, mm-hmm. or like maybe even fighting game. But I've had to like scale back like uh, the plans for uh, as much animation as I wanted. Uh, I've had to cut a lot of areas. I've had to cut a lot of exploration uh, just uh, to get on uh, on time. Uh, and we're talking about and considering a, a Kickstarter right now mm-hmm. uh, because we're we're doing this out of pocket, right? right. Uh, and um, and if I could have some more money to, to to pay my artists. I mean, I haven't paid myself a single dime. Right. Uh, the other uh, programmers involved are also working completely on uh, on RevShare, like expectations of sales. But the artists whose livelihood this is, right. I've been paying them. Right. And uh, if I really want to make the, uh, the the full, beautiful, gorgeous game that uh, that I had planned, and uh, so we're we're currently we're we're going to do a uh, go no go in a week or two actually mm-hmm. uh, on the uh, on the Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at that point, uh, if that works well, then will get the uh, the full vision right yeah like the game's coming out no matter what sure. uh, no matter what uh, uh we're already taking pre-orders right um and um and we're going to deliver the game and it will be like the story that i have uh, i have planned it's uh to the, to the point of how much nuance and, and detail goes into it and how much uh, uh fleshed out uh side questing we get to, uh, to having it because that, that seems to be uh something that is also lacking in most of the indie rpgs like it's uh, it takes a lot of time to actually detail a world out, and like you, um, someone coming from the outside might not realize how much time goes into just scripting out things. They think of physical assets, but the but like all the interactions take a, a massive amount of time. Uh, right now, we're going to be coming out uh, on PlayStation Mobile, oh, cool. um, and uh, and PC, Mac, and Linux. Uh, and if you do pre-order pre-orders, the pre-orders are only for PC, Mac, and Linux. I, I obviously don't control Sony, so I can't do that. <laughs> um, uh, those are our current platforms. Um, it'll be PSM and PC on release day, uh, and, uh, with Mac and Linux to follow. Well, great. Looking forward to it. That is, uh, that's Ben McGraw, and that's solely a very serious RPG coming sometime soon. <laughs>